All right, here we are, October, what is it? 10th. And we have 34,988 miles, time for an oil change. And also a coolant and brake fluid flush. This is 2017. So let's get her done. Got it up on ramps. Put these chocks in, we'll be ready to go. Okay, YouTubers, I rigged up a little... Oh, it's overflowing now. Hang on. All right. I got the engine running. Oil's changed. And... I am flushing fresh tap water. And I'll do this for probably an hour just to get it good and clean. Tell the water coming out of the radiator is drinkable. Although, I'm not going to drink it. So we're at a perfect equilibrium here. Got the water draining out the bottom. Radiator's full, but I noticed that the recovery tank, you can see that. I'll try to get a camera shot of it. I'm not sure you can see it, but the recovery tank is not draining, so I'm going to have to suck that dry with my little, uh, little suction pump I have. All right, this is my little pump here, hand pump. And still uh, got equilibrium, still. Actually, it's going down a little bit. So I might have to eventually turn up the water just a little bit. Interestingly, this water is not hot at all. I just did this same flush on my uh, new old Corvette in the garage there and the water coming out of that was was hot kind of while I was doing the flush the engine running but this is uh this is cool I wouldn't say cold but it's maybe just a cooler running engine anyway so I got my uh my cord all the way up in here into my recovery tank and I'll suck that old old worn out antifreeze out of it. Uh, I was gonna just do it, but I'll I'll try to do it with one hand. And normally I have to hold this pump. Oh, there it comes. See blue, see blue fluid coming through. There it is. There wasn't much in there, maybe a cup. But I want to put completely fresh fluid in, so this pump will pull off of the, of the container there if I want. Hold it usually, but just pump it nice and slow so it's. And there you have it. Just a second ago, I saw some blue fluid coming through, which means the thermostat was opening up and getting the. Uh, recycling some fresh water through the block and some old antifreeze out the drain here. So I'll have to. Uh, probably have to go a little longer than normal just because this engine runs so cool it doesn't the thermostat doesn't open up and suck suck in the fresh cool water very often nope sounds like I'm need to turn up my uh, flow every time the thermostat pops open it sucks more water and, and uh, screws up my equilibrium so now I'm overflowing a little bit uh, last long I'll turn it down sorry about the wind it's interesting you can see exactly when the thermostat opens if the water level just drops like a rock it just there it goes well yep thermostats open there it goes down it goes and then you come down here and you heard that gurgle up there and it gets hot because it's cycling it through the uh, through the engine 
All right, this engine is hot. The fans are kicking on and off. The thermostat is cycling more and more often. I haven't seen any blue fluid come out in a long time. So I think we're done. So I'm gonna turn off the water, turn off the engine, let it drain. I'm gonna fill it up with distilled water cycle that through, let it drain, and fill it up again with distilled water. Let that drain, and then I'm gonna fill it up with the antifreeze. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our, our plug back in. Oh, great, now it's all wet on the ground. Let me get some cardboard. There we go. And, uh, here, right. Oh, where does it go? and the camera at the same time. There it is. Lower passenger side. There it is. Tight. Now we're ready for some uh, still water. I thought I would. Huh. All right, let's crack into a new one. Oh, okay, I'm gonna... All right, finally it's full, and uh, it's pissing out the overflow. So let's uh, get the engine started and get it circulating uh, through. Still peeing out the overflow there, which I have out of the tank. So. It, took, um, it took a good, I don't know, gallon and a half, gallon three quarter, get it topped off. And it's still overflowing. Yeah, it's going to take a while for the engine to heat up and suck some back thermostat to open and suck suck in the cold water all right we're just waiting for it to heat up a little bit more you can tell it's getting hot water's kind of uh expanding i can smell it i can smell the heat and the steam coming still dripping out of the overflow down there from the recovery tank overflow I'm guessing the fans, still got water in there. The fans will kick in here real soon and it'll start circulating this distilled water through. And then we'll drain that and put more distilled water in to hopefully get most of the tap water, 90% of the tap water out. And then we'll fill it up with antifreeze. In addition to Getting out the tap water, I can. I noticed well, a second ago the water level was a lot higher. It kind of comes up and goes down as the thermostat opens. But I noticed it had a slight blue tint to it. So, in addition to getting the tap water out, there's still a little bit of residual um, old antifreeze in this water, which we will dump as soon as it's good and circulated. I don't know if you can see that slight blue tint in that water, but there it is. All right, everything's hot. Got gloves on, because I know this water is going to be smoking hot. But I can just reach under here and find that. Uh, I don't, uh, 
to lay on the ground. There it is. And hopefully I can open it without getting burned. <coughs> Shit. Um. <clears throat> Well, I didn't get the plug all the way out, but enough to drain it, so that'll have to do. All right, got all the hot distilled water drained. Got the plug back in tight. Time for a second round of distilled water. cycle that through. All right, I got my uh, funnel full. Let's get her started to get the pump circulating. There we go. Why isn't that focusing? Good iPhone. Oh, the engine's hot. Fans are on. Fans are running. You can see them back there. Oh, they just... Just stop. You can tell. Or you can see it stops. And now oh, the water level just dropped. But I could see when it was when it was way up here. It was still just slightly, still slightly blue tinted. I could tell. So I'm gonna have to go to Kroger and get some more distilled water. I'm down to my half gallon, my my last gallon, which is 90% gone. So. I'm gonna go get a couple more gallons just to make sure I have flushed everything out. All right, I went and got two more fresh gallons of distilled water Kroger. I decided to do a triple distilled water flush since when the thermostat was cycling on and off and you know the water level would come up and you know go up and go down as the thermostat cycled. It was still just barely, t I could still see a barely a tint of blue. So just to get it good, because I plan on keeping this truck for a long, long time, at least another 10 years, I want to do it right. So we're gonna do it right and uh, do a triple distilled water flush. So I, uh, <laughs> I tried again <laughs> in vain get that plug all the way out but it was it just started blasting burning my I don't know if you can see it's not red anymore but that's okay I'll just uh I'll just let it go slowly and uh, we'll fill her up cycle it again and then we'll add our fluid and be done all right sixth gallon third round of uh distilled water flushing while I got this beauty panel off I wanted to show you a little uh, modification I made to my on the ridge line, which is the little air oil separator here. Gurgling here. Oh, we need to add some more. Hang on. All right, there we go. I got it topped off. Anyway, as I was saying, little air oil separator, as you know, or you should know, this is a direct injection engine. Therefore, there's no fuel washing the intake valves and they get crudded up with a crankcase rebreather oil, which is what where that normally is directed. All that I'm doing is directing it through an air oil separator and then right back into the same port for the crankcase. Well, I mean, for the intake. It goes from the crankcase to the intake manifold normally and I'm just separating the oil out of it. And I was really surprised at how well this thing works. I don't think I could go a full 3,000 miles or you know, 5,000 miles is what my oil change uh, schedule is, but I, I check it at every, uh, every fill up and there's always some in there. So it, it works really well. Keeping the intake valves clean from whatever after you know 100,000 miles, it, it's going to make a difference from the 
crud that would build up on the back of uh, your intake valves because there's no there's no fuel to wash your intake valves. The direct injection motor directs the fuel uh, injects the fuel right into the cylinder. So that's the whole point of this. And why the manufacturers don't do it? Well, they don't care. I guess. Okay. While well, the engine's heating up and my water is circulating my distilled water for the third time it's still circulating i'm going to go ahead and run two quarts of dot three through flush it i'm going to suck that i'm going to suck that dry using my pump first suck this uh this old brown fluid this should be clear at least it's not black like my corvette was so i'm going to suck that dry with my with my sucker, fill it up with nice clean fluid and then bleed all four brakes. Obviously the, the passenger rear will get bled first and the most because it's the longest line. And we'll, we'll keep going until all the fluid is clear. All right, go ahead, pump it. Can't get my hose way back down in there. Keep pumping. I need a more flexible line to get my uh, get back down in there a little bit. Oh, there we go. A little deeper. If it come out. Okay, well, this is as good as it's going to get. So I'll, I'll top that off with fresh fluid, and then I'll bleed it out, all four brakes. All right, so the engine's still running because I'm still cycling uh, distilled water through the engine for the third time. So this is going to be the cleanest coolant system ever. Anyway, let's... Uh, get this uh, reservoir topped off and if you guys don't know this stuff is toxic so as a precaution let's, let's lay out an old t-shirt just in case I spill Try not to, but you don't want this stuff on anything because it's it'll peel the paint right off your your car. There we go. You can get a little better angle. There we go. I'm glad I had the T-shirt there because I did splash a little bit here, a little bit there. There's the lid. So this goes down in there too, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now while I'm bleeding. I just need to keep it topped off. Keep it topped off while you're bleeding. You don't want to air your brakes, obviously. There we go. Ready to bleed. All right, here we are at the right rear Passenger side rear brake, longest line from the master cylinder. Um, I got my daughter up there. She's gonna pump. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, down me, pump the brakes three times, and then hold. Tell me when you're ready. Right again. So you don't want to forget, let your reservoir empty and then bleed air into the brakes. So, FYI.
Again. After this, um, this time I'll, I'm gonna go check the reservoir, see how low it is. All right, back in a sec. Okay, I uh, just went and checked the reservoir. It was down <laughs> none. I mean, a quarter inch at the most. So I'm gonna be able to do this uh, 10 times at least. If that was five, I'm gonna double it. And I'll still have plenty of margin for, for air. So pump it up three times and hold. And so on. I'm not gonna film this because it's in my way. Tight as I can get it finger tight. And that's it. Triple distilled water wash. Time for the antifreeze. All right, here we are. I poured in a gallon and a half of the pretty blue Asian antifreeze. After draining, well, drained all the, the third drain of distilled water. And so that's what we have left of the distilled water after six gallons. Half gallon left. And then poured in a gallon and a half of uh, the Peak Asian brand formula of antifreeze. And now just started it to get it cycled in, cycled down into the pump and everywhere else. The recovery tank is completely empty, so I'll have to. I'll, I'll just put some distilled water in there. It's probably a little bit stronger than the 50-50 mix, maybe, might be a 60-40, give or take, somewhere in between. All right, here we are at the front rotors. We ran out of daylight, so that's why it's dark out here. Um, 